Hi, welcome to automation testing dot in. In this video, we are going to discuss about handling basic elements in Selenium. Handling basic elements in Selenium will discuss about how we can interact with the elements, which we will see on, uh, which we'll use very frequently on any application. In this video, we will understand the concept of web element also, as we will call all the elements which are there on the web page are web elements. In this, we will see how we'll handle the below elements which are frequently in an application. That is text box. Uh, that is text box, button, radio button, check box, etc. Means these are the uh, elements which we will see very frequently on any web page. Okay, and uh, one more thing like uh, we will say web element. What is web element? Whatever you see on a web page is called web element. Whether it is a text box, whether it is a button, whether it is a radio button, whether it is a check box, whether it is a link, image, uh, drop down, choose and drop down, web table, what not, everything, wa label, whatever you see on the web page is called web element. We have to remember this point. Okay? Now, To achieve this, okay, to handle these elements, we will write one simple program to automate that application. Here we will see the process in step by step. For this, we need to follow the below steps. Means you have to have one IDE to write the code. Means that is you need to install or download any IDE, whether it is Eclipse or IntelliJ IDE, otherwise any other things. Okay, I am using IntelliJ IDE. Download and add Selenium jar files. You have to download the selenium jar files and you have to add those things to your in IDE creating a Java project and create a class under this project and write simple program in that you have to write logic for to open the browser navigate to a particular application and capture the locators and write the code to handle that application and execute the program these are the things which we are going to see in this okay now local IntelliJ IDA I have created one project called selenium okay you just file oh sorry file new project then create a Java project click next and give the name okay now you'll find one of the folders called SRC right click on this new java class i'll say sample program click ok and uh, we'll delete this we'll write standalone program public static void main string args in this we have to write uh, to open the Firefox right for that uh, from Selenium 3 we need to give this system dot set property you have to mention the where the uh, Firefox driver is in your mission set property and you have to mention web driver dot gecko dot driver and you have to mention the path of your gecko driver where it is I have in this location in my machine and I'll paste the same thing here okay now we have to create an instance for web driver we have to give the reference sorry Yeah, before that, you have to download add the Selenium jar files. Okay, for that, we'll go to seleniumhq.org. Go to the download section. And you can see this one is standalone server. <coughs> Sorry, 3.0.1. You can download this one. Otherwise, you can find Selenium client and WebDriver language bindings. For language-wise, you have to click java you click download and 
once you download you have to extract that one that is a uh, zip file then once you do that you have to come to your uh, IntelliJ IDA file sorry file project structure and go to the modules go to dependencies click on this place symbol then you'll ask for the jar or directories click on jars and go to uh, where I have placed in my machine I have placed in my downloads in the downloads we will see that selenium server standalone 3.0.10 click ok select this checkbox apply ok yeah now we are ready to write selenium code now I'll create a reference for web driver driver equal to new Firefox driver and we need to navigate to particular web page that is I'll go to automation testing that in here you'll have one of the options called demo site skip sign in you will find registration form uh, this site is uh, built for to practice the basic automation I'll click here now till now we open the browser we navigate to a particular URL now we need to what is a handle means you have to interact with this text boxes so I'll say first name last name and I'll click on submit what will happen you see something entered here something entered here and if I say submit you will find one pop-up card please fi fill out this field I mean, these are mandatory fields we have to fill means now how you will uh, what is it recognize this text box you click firebug and I'm using CSS selector here click on this one and click here now if you see two elements are matching with this CSS selector okay two elements but we need to handle single element uniquely you have to identify the element for that what you do you will look into this what do you say uh, the code and you see uh, you have any <coughs> sorry unique property I'll find placeholder is called first name what is placeholder what you are seeing in this right first name then th that is placeholder now what I'll do input placeholder equal to, I'll mention the placeholder is first name you see it is identifying one matching element means unique element now how you will identify this one using IntelliJ now you have code like driver dot find element by dot CSS selector this is the basic syntax that till here driver dot find element by dot css selector okay what it will return you it will return you a web element a web element first name text box okay web element first name text box equal driver dot find element by dot css selector till here it will find that element what is that element that is a web element okay this is the variable name first name text box now you identified this particular text box now now we will identify the last name also and the same thing what is that last name you have for that also we have placeholder like last name okay see it is identifying it is highlighting that element now I'll copy this one I'll go to uh, IntelliJ I'll write the same thing web element last name text box equal to uh, driver dot find element by dot CSS selector I'll copy this one okay now you identified uh, what 
ਸਾਡੇ ਸੇ ਲਾਸ ਨੇ ਮਾਸ ਨਾ ਵੇ ਸਬਮਿਟ ਬਟਨ ਇਕੁਅਲ ਟੂ ਸੇਮ ਥਿੰਗ ਡਰਾਈਵਰ ਡਾਟ ਫਾਈਂਡ ਐਲੀਮੈਂਟ ਬਾਈ ਡਾਟ ਸੀ ਐਸ ਸਿਲੈਕਟਰ ਐਂਡ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਟੂ ਆਈਡੈਂਟੀਫਾਈ ਥਿਸ ਵਨ ਯੂ ਆਈਡੈਂਟੀਫਾਈ ਥਿਸ ਵਨ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਹੈਵਿੰਗ ਆਈਡੀ ਸੋ ਸਟੇਟ ਅਵੇ ਇਟ ਵਿਲ ਗਿਵ ਯੂ ਦ ਸੀ ਐਸ ਸਿਲੈਕਟਰ ਨਾਉ ਆਈ ਪਲੇਸ ਫੀਅਰ ਨਾਉ ਵੀ ਨੀਡ ਟੂ ਸੌਰੀ ਰਿਮੈਂਬਰ ਵਨ ਥਿੰਗ ਹੀਅਰ ਸੀ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਟੈਕਸਟ ਬਾਕਸ for that also we have written driver dot find element by dot css selector something last name text box driver dot find element by dot css selector css selector value for submit button also we have written the same thing driver dot find element by dot css selector the reason is these are text boxes but this is button but all these things we have written the same code driver dot find element by dot css selector driver dot find element by dot css selector driver dot find element by dot css selector why the reason is in selenium whatever you see on the web page is a web element and you have to find that web element first then you have to perform action which you want to on that up, uh, what do you say web element means selenium will not come to know that this is a text box this is a radio button this is a link this is a button it will not come to know you have to explicitly mention that this is a text box that is the reason you have to enter something this is a web but uh, this is a button you have to click on that you have to explicitly you have to mention that one means first name text box this is a text box what you can do on this you can enter something into this so you can apply click on the click also in this text box what what will happen it will not do anything on that it just clicks on that text box so it will not throw any error you can apply click on the uh, click also on that text box but it will not throw any error the reason is it will simply it will identify the text box and it will click on that nothing will go wrong in this but as a automation tester you have to understand what we need to perform on this so you have one of the methods called send keys you can enter something in this auto mission okay now last name text box dot send keys same thing this is a text box so i'll enter something in this now one more thing what is that submit button you can send send keys for this also but this is a button you will not enter anything in this so we should know that this is a button so we can we have to click on this click that's it we have done now we'll execute this run this program okay. it will take a bit time to launch the browser now it's it started the browser it is navigating to the url you see that the same thing fill out this fill why because it clicked on submit button and you can see that it filled automation and testing in this text boxes that's all we we, we written code to handle this uh, this much it has done that okay that is simple program how will handle this text box and button will uh, write something into that and will click on that okay we have separate api methods to handle different types of elements to handle text box we have separate methods to handle means what you have seen send keys is a method to handle text box and we have separate methods for buttons the what is that click same way we have different api to handle different web elements if you hand if you want to handle uh, drop down you have separate api for that okay the reason is everything is a web element all this uh, will be hand uh, recognized by web element in selenium now you have to explicitly mention or uh, to tell the selenium that this is a text box so i am using send keys method this is a button i am using click method you have to mention like that this way it will interacts with the elements and one more thing we have to remember that selenium simulates the human interactions means how you handle a web uh, application manually almost the same way selenium also handles the uh, what do you say um, application 
while automating so we need to remember that thing and we'll use whether uh, whenever it requires we will see in the coming videos when this is required okay that's all in this video thank you for watching this video please like us at our facebook page and don't forget to subscribe to automation testing channel